It's been a strange week, YouTube. I didn't even... You know what? I don't know what's going on. I didn't even know if this was going to happen. I didn't even know if this video was going to happen. So, I figured, you know what? Strange week? Well, I think we need a strange game. And uh, this game, it has a ton of music, too. So, are you ready for an acid trip? Indy! Thank you for all of the support that everyone has provided to this channel over the last six months. And I really have learned a lot of things from my first video to, well, this one here. But I still want to improve things. I still want to make this better for you. So please comment below. Tell me how I, how I can make this better for you. Do you need more graphics? Do you need flashy lights? Should I, you know, not put my face on the screen? Let me know down below. Also, while you're at it, feel free, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see these games played live, I do play some of them on stream. That's over on Twitch. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, that's all three to seven. So music, well, music is awesome. Music's what actually drives me a lot of times. And truthfully, it's the reason that I even looked at this game today. And uh, so, what the hell are we playing? I know we're into weird games. I mean, we looked at Nuts. Nuts is crazy. We checked out Loop Hero. And Loop Hero, though it's a really good game, it's a game all on its own, and it does not fit your norms of most games. I mean, hell, we played Carry On, a game where we were a monster, and we're literally tearing doors off and eating people. Yeah, You know what? There's no way around it. Train has already left the station. Let's check out this game called Everhood. So the description of this game, this game is an RPG adventure musical acid trip. No joke. There's even a warning for those that have photosensitive epilepsy. They don't want to cause seizures, so because it kind of can. This game has an amazing story and the characters, well, they all really stand out. So this game, if I had to describe what this game was to kind of tell you what it's like, it it's its own thing. I don't know of any game that's like it. The best I could come up with while I was thinking of this was Undertale? Partially? But then you're going to mix in some music rhythm game thing. You're dodging stuff. There's a few bullet hell bosses that are here. Um, hell, you even drive around on some outrun type tracks if they were all dark and more 8-bit than they were already were it, it's insane and all the while you feel like you are just straight tripping <laughs> hell at this point f it you know, we're just gonna throw in a kitchen sink that's part of the game too gameplay how do i describe the gameplay i mean i even tried describing what this game was before here I mean, you, you got a glimpse of what it is based on everything that I threw at you, but I mean, at, at its heart, it's an adventure RPG. You walk around and you talk to people and then everything else in this game is completely different and it changes from one moment to the next. There's a good portion where you are doing the music rhythm portion. You're dodging things that are coming at you, but there's just so much more to this game than walking and talking. Ah, yes. Music and sound. The music is the reason I even looked at this game. It seemed way out in left field that I might have skipped over it. I might have. Um, but honestly, it is amazing. The music in this game is absolutely amazing. Every boss is filled with great beats, and it's it fills the environment when it's necessary. You'll be standing outside of a club. And you'll hear the muffled thump, 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 entering into the environment that you're part of. And there's variety in all of it. I mean, you'll go through, you'll see a frog. Yeah, that's right, it's a frog sitting on a stump. Guess what? He's got a banjo. You're going to get a bluegrass type song. You're going to accidentally run into a club goer. He's complaining about his drink. Well, guess what? You're going to get some EDM in there. You want to 
come against a, well, a giant crime boss pig? I know, all of these characters are crazy. Guess what? You're gonna have some pretty sweet metal music going on with it. Even the silence in this game serves a purpose. You're wandering around in the darkness and all you can hear is the little footsteps. And there's no music. Because it adds contrast to the environment. And the sounds, well, talking about the sounds, you'll hit, hear those footsteps. And sometimes you get this 8-bit feel where it fits perfectly in what it looks like. Then other times, all of a sudden, you're getting this crazy space-age whoosh and lasers and high-fidelity sounds that kind of fit what you're seeing on the screen. Everything belongs where it does in the craziness that is this game. Which, that leads into the look of the game. It, on the surface, looks like a slightly more colorful Undertale. But definitely on acid. <laughs> I can't get past the whole acid drip thing. At times, it's dark, and you only see footprints and your character as you're wandering through. Other times... You see the crazy pixelated characters that inhabit this journey. And then all of a sudden you die and some crazy neon outline of a gnome shows up and he starts shooting lasers at you and there's flashing lights and then the whole screen melts until all of a sudden the floor is now the ceiling and things are spinning and now you're part of a floating cube yeah this game is absolutely crazy to look at and i mean as i had previously mentioned it can trigger photosensitive epilepsy so be careful with that um, also you know i'm i was a little confused on the four three screen ratio but you know it's weird in this day and age but i mean i guess it still works as for the feel, well, honestly, you're just along for the ride. I mean, yeah, the game can be difficult, um, but it takes a, quite a while for you to even grasp a little bit, just a minute inkling of what the heck is going on. And even then, trust me, I still felt really, really confused. But that's not a problem in this game. It's not a problem at all. It does a great job of keeping you interested and keeping you engaged on what's going around you at that moment, rather than trying to figure out what the ending's going to be, where you're going. I mean, the subtitle for this game is, and pardon me, I'm going to literally read it because of it, an ineffable tale of the inexpressible divine moments of truth. This game is just... This game is just, yeah. What is our opinion? You know that I always want you, as a viewer, to make that decision for yourself. I just try to kind of give you a barometer on value and properly set your expectations for the games that I look at. And I try to find things that are a little farther out there. Or maybe the games that are absolutely huge and maybe you should or should not be looking at. And, Marvel is one of those. We'll be doing that next week. Um, but, you know what? I'd rather have you check it out for yourself. Don't just listen to all the people that are shilling the game or giving it bad reviews. For us here at CTL, I am greatly, absolutely greatly enjoying Everhood. I mean, I'm actually planning on playing this on stream because I feel that people need to experience this game and they might skip over it like I almost did. I mean, hell, at the $10 price point, little, it's like $9.99, it's rather inexpensive and the music alone is worth kind of checking out for that price. So, you know, truthfully, buckle up. Just hang on, check this game out. Because, well, this game, this game's a trip. And if you don't want to check it out yourself, then check it out on stream. YouTube, did you check out this game? Are you planning on checking out this game based on what you've seen here? What games are you looking to see here on the channel? How can I improve the content? Let me know. Put all that stuff down below. Alrighty. Hey, and with that, 
Hope you enjoyed this video here, and we will see you next time. Oh, wait, before we go, I need to remember what the first absolute truth was. Thank you once again, YouTube, for watching the video. I really do appreciate you. Hey, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notification when we go live with a new video. That's every Sundays. Also, like and comment on that video you just watched. I want to know what content you want to see, what content you want me to do. I mean, this is your channel. This is your community. I do this for you. Also, right over here. That's right. Those are the social links. I do things IRL in those as well. A little different from what we do here and a little different from what we do, last but not least, Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Also better known as Beers Day over the channel. Three to seven. Come have a beer. Join the Landers. Be part of the chat. Thank you once again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.